Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Wings of Mengsk. Uh, I asked you guys where we should go, and Outbreak is where y'all said, with the most common reason that we should be going here, is people want to reach the end of one of the storylines so we can see what the awesome new mercenary things are. However, I'm pretty sure that I said this in an earlier mission, and it is uh, going to be very, very difficult. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we can call the labor. Bring these guys back. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. We can call these and just go and deal with some of the stuff. Sorry. I gotta get this stuff set up real quick. Hey, we can get a real good economy and then probably still have defenses here. Oh, this is really good. I'm gonna not get gas at the beginning. I'm just gonna focus on getting a lot of these guys out, fill both of these, get repair guys on each. Yeah, this is gonna work. Okay, um, so what I was saying about the... Th okay, this is working really well, too. Hey, this mission's going really nicely to begin with. Um, so I was told that in this... Mo oh, goodness gracious. Good golly, Miss Molly. Uh, didn't expect that. Probably should have. <laughs> this is the home front now. Bring this guy to repair. Just keep upgrading the guns. Here, drop this. Just focus on getting these fully saturated and populated. Let's see. Let's get another fire bat in here. So, safe haven. I know you're all trying to send me to safe haven because I said, uh, I think it was on the zero hour mission that there are a couple missions that are super, super like imbalanced in this mod and safe haven from what I've heard is harder than any of the nightmare missions, <laughs> like normal nightmare in because of the additional stuff that's added, not like, Oh, uh, it's hard, but you have the tools. It's like just straight up harder than nightmare. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that, uh, people heard that and now are sneakily trying to send me there to die, which I see your plan. I understand your plan. I think that that plan is very funny and I'm willing to play along if that's where people send me, if we make a deal. I will play that mission with barely any tech unlocked. And you know what? I will beat that mission despite it being harder than Nightmare. However, everybody that votes for me to go there or wants me to go there has to promise that they are going to actually watch the entire VOD no matter how long it is. If it takes me six hours to do because you voted for it, then you have to watch for all six hours. It's only fair. I'm gonna hold this in case something gets real scary on one oh, like that. Uh, and if I beat it in 20 minutes, then all you have to do is watch 20 minutes. I think that is a fair bargain. <laughs> If I have to go through it, you can't just watch the first attempt and then skip to the end, because I have I have the uh, numbers. I know that's what people do on the really, really long missions. They want me to go be miserable, but they don't want to watch it. So that is my bargain. Oh, here we go. Outback Hunter. What do you do? Gain additional movement speed when out of combat and in Hellion mode. Take five less damage in Hellbat. Ooh, Hellbat mode. Nice. Hey, we're actually going to get to use Hellbats. That's exciting. Uh, let's just make sure that we are not dying first. Let's just put these guys right here and here. <laughs> Look at how fast it is. Oh, how much damage does this do? Not bad. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Uh, let's uh, start getting the gas going. So yeah, I see what people are doing. I see them going, oh yeah, we're gonna... Oh, Grant, we want to see the end of the quest line. By the way, we're gonna send you to the end of the hardest quest line. Uh, and I will accept it, if you accept my deal. Now, I have no way to make you enforce that deal. This is just a, uh... This is just a gentleman's agreement, or gentlewoman, I don't really care. It's a gentle person's agreement. Uh, for this, I just need to get all my stuff going at this point. I'm feeling really good. Uh, we have... I feel safe. I'm able to just constantly be dropping these guys. Use them for defense. Start using these Hellions for offense. I think the Hellions do more damage. Yeah, I think they do more damage in Hellbat mode. 
because the Hellion attack speed is very low. They also basically don't take damage. Yeah, five less damage in Hellbat mode. That's ridiculous. They just don't take damage from Broodlings at level two. That's crazy. We're going to send these guys out to fight. And we're just going to try getting lots of Hellbats, I guess. And keep upgrading all of this. Actually, let's grab the Max Life and Armor. I just want this area to be nice and safe. These are so cheap. They're 300, 150. Obviously, oh, interesting. Oh, and they're biological, so I can probably heal them, right? With medics? Hmm. That's a, uh, there's a whole lot going on with this Hellion Hellbat. I actually think the Hellbat might be really, really, really good. This is super durable. Five additional armor. Uh, gains area of effect and tar bomb ability, which slows enemy movement speed, attack, uh, minus, whoa, three attack range. What? Yo, the Hellion actually is really good. Obviously, it's not clearing stuff quickly. This is Nightmare, so, like, yeah, this armory has 1,875 HP. Even though it's light, it is ridiculously bulky. Gonna unload you guys. Grab lots of gun. Pull these guys back home. And just keep building stuff up. I actually want to... I think I want to fully saturate here. And these will go into car mode and try to defend wherever it gets sketch. Or... Oh wait, no, it's Virophages, isn't it? Well, we'll figure out how to deal with the Virophages later. I don't want to think about it. Instead, what I'm going to do... No, I guess on this mission, we don't need any healers, right? Because these guys are... They have five bonus armor. They're just going to take no damage from the broodlings and stuff, and they can be repaired here if anything crazy happens. We just have to focus on keeping these defenses nice and good. We're going to fill up these bunkers, fill up the other bunkers, grab attack upgrades. Uh, we'll get supply bunker range. That'll be a really nice one. And I think I'm going to hold the dogs of war. Either A, something bad's going to happen. We're going to need the repairs. Or B, we can use it to help our clearing speed during the day. Either of those are completely valid, and I would be okay with them. Okay, we got these over here, these over here. Lots of hell. Yeah. The <laughs> one thing I like about the Hellbat better already is the non desync movement speed. Though, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a laboratory upgrade that allows our guys to start at rank 1. Are these firewall moving? Oh. Oh. Okay, I do like the Hellion. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Interesting. Very interesting. I... There's a lot going on here. I'm a little bit afraid of this back area being busted, but I also am afraid of this front area being busted. The only area I'm not that concerned about is this, uh, top. The top is, like, never in danger. Burn stuff down. And then, yeah, we can go home and get repaired. This unit feels good to play with. I like it. It doesn't even feel like super crazy elite right now. It just feels like a very mobile car fighting against a bunch of zombies. That's what we got these for. There we go. Burn through it. Was it human? Pull these back, drop you, and we're just going to keep doing things. Let's grab an armory. What? No, oh, why are you here? I'll get in. <laughs> what a waste. I didn't mean to build that at all. Okay, cars go this way. Uh, build armory. Guys, here. No, why? Okay. Um. Sure, you can be in here. That is fine. Doesn't really matter. Everyone, go Hellbat. 875 HP each. It's gonna be a long, long mission, isn't it? But I have a feeling we're just not gonna be losing stuff. That's kind of the. 
kind of the dream that we have is creating a perfectly fortified base where nothing ever dies. And maybe if that's what we do, we won't even have to deal with uh, moving to a different location when this inevitably runs out of money because we'll have a maxed out army and it won't be losing HP. We'll have a repair bank, all that kind of stuff. That's that's the dream. Hello, investors. Let's see if we can do this as a team. These eggs sure take a long time to hatch. <laughs> What's going on with these eggs? What's inside of them? <laughs> They're not hatching. Okay. I mean, can't be too upset. <laughs> Okay. An armory, no armory upgrade. That's an armory upgrade. We, I guess we just don't have it available yet. That's fine. Don't really care. Let's just uh, do this. You know what? You guys can deal with these spine crawlers. Spines are scary. And then we're going to drop you couple guys in there pull you back five four three two oh that's gonna spawn a lot of extra infested the that's not a good idea keep your eyes peeled get back home well hope we don't die so you're in car mode and Big gun. So I don't think we actually want that many flamethrowers at this point because the scariest thing is the aberration. And the aberration doesn't really care about that. Well, the one thing I'm noticing, these take an absolute ton of experience to level up. Like a, that's crazy how much it takes. Oh, no, 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 I don't want, that's going to make repairing harder. Oops. I want to get extra guys. I should probably drop the extra depots in here. And then, uh... Use that for supply. Kind of going slow and steady here, but I think that we're going to be next time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push up here during the day, clear as much as I can. Then near the end, I'll go car mode, go over here, clear everything out, and then try to take down this virophage. I think that'll work really nicely. And everything besides that, like, I think, yeah. I don't know how hard the virophage is. It's probably fairly difficult. I remember it not being like fun. Oh, we just have access to plus three attack now because we have the armory, huh? Well then, that's interesting. I don't know if we need it right now. Let's get range bonus for supply bunkers. Cause I do think that's gonna be pretty consistently useful. But for the most part, we're holding off pretty well. Just uh, the range bonus is more of a, I don't want to pay repair fees. So let's see if we can kill some of these infested Marines faster. And I think that you get that bonus a little bit better off of the range than you do off of the attack upgrade. Yeah, this the, all these areas seem completely immortal just with the amazing power of I remembered this from Nightmare. <laughs> Come get me. Come get me. Show me your power. Daybreak in 30 seconds. Where, where? I built... Please send the Banshees. Where are they? <laughs> I built them. I remembered. Well, now I feel very silly. I was trying to meta game. <laughs> it didn't work out. Because the Banshees, I don't know if they just got lost somewhere. Not sure what happened. Actually, I think I'm going to push down this way because the aggression that came from the top was pathetic. So I'm not really concerned about it. Okay, we got 10 extra Hydras with it now. And then these Hellions are at least able to deal with these Perma Eggs <laughs> better than the Hellbats are. 
Actually, I think we might be at a point where we just want to go for the Hellions because they get from target to target faster. We're at that critical mass. You've dealt a serious blow to their numbers, Jim. Then I think I'm going to start holding my charges for drop bunker. And I'm going to use them here during the Virophage fight. But I want to... I guess it's not going to change anything, is it? I'm not going to hit 500 biomass by the end of it, so I might as well just drop them now. Rise up and defend yourselves! We're running out of gas. We're running out of minerals. Both of these things are very difficult. I don't think this would be harder if the infested eggs hatched, because we would melt them, right? It would not even be funny how quickly they would all be completely removed from existence. Okay, one thing I'm noticing is we do take a lot more damage with the Hellions than the Hellbats. It turns out that minus five damage is a lot of minus damage. So let's just go Hellbats for now. And then we're going to prepare to head back here and deal with this first Virophage and see how it goes. Hopefully pretty good. I haven't really upgraded these guys. They're just normal troopers. Oh gosh, I'm a little bit slow. Oh gosh. Here's the Virophage. Move over there. Move over there. Ooh, pull this guy back. Once we have some things that are worth putting behind these guys and then we get some medics, it's going to be ridiculous. Can we just start clearing during the night? I think that the Hellbats are good enough to clear during the night. I can't use this during the night. I don't think it's going to be good enough because it's just regular Zerglings and stuff. But these guys are... They don't really seem to care. I actually think that this is really good for experience farming. It may be worth spawning the extra guys because look at how fast we're getting our stars and stuff now. Interesting. Man, the, the Royal Guard mechanic really does change how you want to play the game sometimes get these guys. Uh, let's give them big guns and have them sit behind. They can be our backline firepower for today. Yeah, you. I am sure. Another thing to notice is that we actually have like a little bit of an infinite money trick with uh, the force conscription. It's obviously a very slow infinite money trick, but it is infinite. Because we can always just sell... Oh gosh. Uh, we do actually need to get some extra friends here. Is too much damage. It's also really hard to see during the dark sometimes. Uh, we're going to sell these because they're being attacked. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Get to the high ground. I'm not sure I lost too much there. But we definitely are low on HP. Do we have any gas? We do have a little bit of gas. Okay, well, let's get the medic. Can't afford her yet. Sell that. Drop a new one. Oh wait, that's gonna supply cap me. <laughs> well, whatever, it's fine. Pretty risky. Um, yeah, I didn't think about that. I mean, if I'm maxed, I don't need these either. Me? You sure? Just get more yeah. guns. Daybreak in thirty seconds. Yeah, the healing would be really nice, but I think that we're okay. Get you guys here. Don't you have somebody else for this? And I think we're gonna get a majority of the remaining structures tonight because our backline firepower is gonna be so high. I think we can clear here, here, all the way up. And we actually haven't cleared up there or anything, but that's fine. I still don't want to open up these areas. Just like if I was playing on traditional brutal i would feel fine just charging all of these guys out but like you know it could go terribly i cannot use hey, force conscription now that i'm maxed good to know some mods let you do it uh this one does not i 
think that's all I really have to do here. If I get a little bit more money, I guess it's time to get this plus two attack. Oh, I don't even think there's money for it. Nope. Great. This sector is clear. Nice work, boys. Now move on to the next area. Warren Thrall Zerg. Oh, I was just thinking that actually we were doing a really good job at keeping units alive. I think I've lost like less than 10 units besides these Zerg, who I believe count as mine and are going to be uh, <laughs> completely annihilated throughout the entire mission. I'm going to have lost like 100 of them. Got him. Owned those eggs. Let's see, we're at 200 supply. And yeah, I think I'm going to just split some of these up in different places. I'm going to keep them on repairing because if they're on gun, then they're just going to die real quick. Oh, the oil detected that guy, didn't it? Pretty sure that's what happened right there. Oh, no. If only I had a medic. The supply just doesn't exist. Pull these back, pull these back. We do want to get over to this uh, bonus objective. Ooh, we're at 500, we're at 500. So if we start losing stuff here, then we'll be dropping regular troops and well-equipped troops. Right? And this should, yeah, it's spawning mutas now. I'm really excited to get to the point where we're going to get a lot of mandate really, really quickly. I am going to throw it everywhere. Also, that should be enough to get our first lab upgrades. Actually, the first Virophage would have been our 10th, I believe. Yeah, wow, look at this. Hey, there's the infested banshees. So does this have... Yeah, it's got a flamethrower trooper and a machine gun trooper and an anti-air trooper. I don't even have the anti-air thing yet. I like that. I have a source of anti-air. Well, I mean, everybody, all, all the troopers are a source of anti-air with the large machine gun. Only the flamethrowers aren't. The mutt mutts, they can do a little bit of tanking. And we're just making great progress. Oh, someone's calling the ball. Who wins this fight? All right, son of Korhal. <laughs> Dropping this stuff. Oh, oh my gosh, we're actually having a bit of issue with just the number of things that are popping out. But look at all these three-star guys. This is how you farm the... Oh, goodness. That's a big attack wave that flanked us. Pull these guys back. Oh, goodness. That's a lot of aberrations. Hot out there. Just stop. No, 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 no. I wanted you to drop the... Okay. The oil? The oil? Oil on a ramp? Oh, that's some super slick gaming. In 59 seconds, we have to hold. We're not taking much damage at home, so let's just see if we can... Who's resisting us today? Go zooming. So what do we do with level 3 on these guys? Base is under attack. Make units hit by an explode upon... Oh, that sounds good. In 30 seconds. Okay. Diamondback can fire its railgun while moving. Yep, me too. Uh, it doesn't say what the explosion does anywhere, but I choose to believe it'll be great. And we're going to have to move this. Start getting some of the money. I know that we'll probably win, but, like, I just want to make sure, right? Oh. Hey, it looks like the Banshees explode during sunlight. <laughs> Swan probably needs to fix that. That's why we don't have Banshees yet. It's a little bit of technical stuff that needs to be fixed. Good hold. You've dealt a serious blow to their numbers, Jim. You're doing great. Sir, 
Just keep clearing, get you guys over here just in case. I'm not detecting any more infested structures. This is my insurance command center. 25 structures. Thank you, free money printer in the form of uh, force conscription. <laughs> it truly is beautiful. So I don't really know how good this explosion is, but I'm choosing to believe that it is an upgrade now. Because it's so annoying. <laughs> but we can just chase them down with our flamethrowers. 125, 13 structures. So we can take these down, then it's just stuff over there and a couple things here. Which we can pull these guys out for. You're almost done. There's just a handful of infested bio signs left. I'll highlight their locations on your map. And then you guys here, you guys report for combat. Who's resisting us today? And we should be done. Looking for direction. Or we're gonna have to panic and run. <laughs> If there's just, like, a couple left over, we should have the ability to run at Mach 50. Like, to get down here, no problem. Because the Hellion is so quick. That's beautiful. I love it. Alright, that wasn't that bad. It really, really wasn't that bad. Now let's go check out what we have on the laboratory. I'm hoping that it's pretty good, and then, of course, I'm going to ask where people want to go. Remember that you cannot finish off the Haven quest line until we've done two other missions after Outbreak. So even if you want to send me to my death, you got to wait for a little bit. Defensive Fireplower or Defensive Fortification? Maybe I should have people vote for these as well. All right. Adds an auto turret on supply bunkers. Equip missile turrets with the Hellstorm missile pods. Or supply bunkers, planetary fortress, missile turret, and earth splitter ordnance plus two armor. Si fire suppression system on all buildings. Oh, man. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I feel like this one is way, way better. But I'm going to leave it to... I'm going to leave it to you guys. So what mission should we go for? And what upgrade should we get? Please tell me in the comments. I hope you pick a decent one. I mean, neither of them are bad. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.